Hey, this is Matt Whitmer from Brody Precision, and in this unboxing video, we're going to be taking a look at the Honeywell Web HMI touchscreen monitor. This is the 10 inch model. There's also a 21 inch, a 15 inch, a 7, and a 4 inch. And these displays are made to integrate with uh, Cyper 10, Cyper 30, Cyper 50, and Web 8000 controller. They're HTML5 uh, web browsers that are built in. They allow you to set a primary and a fallback URL, and you can have it automatically go to those pages when you power up the device. It uses an Ethernet port on the bottom for its connection to the network. No Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, and this model has multiple Ethernet ports. A uh, future firmware update will allow you to use those uh, ports so that um, they are basically a switch. For our power, we're getting uh, 24 volts DC. This only takes DC, no AC. And like I said, it takes uh, it comes in uh, five different screen sizes: a four, a seven, a ten, a fifteen, and a twenty-one. And the operating temperature ranges are from thirty-two degrees to one hundred and twenty-two degrees Fahrenheit for the four and the seven, and the ten to twenty-one. So the ten, the fifteen, and the twenty-one are rated from negative four to one hundred and forty. So a little bit of a wider range uh, that's allowable on those. Uh, the front bezel here on these guys is IP66 rated, so it can be used outside, but the back obviously isn't. Uh, it's got holes and openings and things for ventilation. Uh, that's got to be dry and protected, should be on the inside of a panel. And there's a gasket actually on the back side here. If you can see, there's a gasket here so that you can... Uh, partially flush mount this into a panel and it uses these little cutouts here to uh, flush mount those cutouts are on all these sides and it can be password protected and it uses a arm processor um, with a linux operating system and the browser itself is a form of chrome and like i mentioned it comes in a variety of sizes this is the 10 inch and depending on the sizing that you get, you have different resolutions, uh, which is a good thing to keep in mind if you're designing specific graphics for these devices. Uh, this 10-inch one is a 1280 by 800 pixel uh, resolution. And if you go up to the 21-inch, that's a full 1080p at 1920 by 1080 pixels. So because it is a capacitive screen, it it behaves exactly like you expect it to. It's it's basically the same thing that's in your phone or in a tablet, any touchscreen device that you use today. It's not that older style where the screen kind of flexes, uh, that resistive style that's, that's not as good for touch input. Uh, this guy, obviously, you're still going to want to keep in mind your uh, design for button sizes and things to you know, utilize people's fingers. I have pretty small fingers, so it's easy enough for me to, to get around in, uh, in these pages on our demo, even though it wasn't built specifically for this. And as I say that, I, I misclicked a button here. And I can bring up another page. Uh, interesting thing to note is depending on how complicated your page is, uh, the longer it's going to take to load up, right? So, uh, not the strongest of processors in this uh, device. So depending on how complicated your page is, how many uh, PX includes and points you're pulling in and things, uh, it could load up a little bit slower. So you can see this, this home page that we have here has a whole bunch of PX includes, a whole bunch of points, graphics, uh, some interactive things um, that it's all pulling up here still relatively quickly all things considered so that's the basic uh, normal user interface if I click up here to the top I can see the uh, URL input menu bar or toolbar and if I click on the gear here in the corner I get to a login page I'm gonna log in as the admin here and by default it will come with a username and password but it will make you change that to a secure one 
just like most things nowadays do. So that and it requires a, a secure password. So as you saw, I had to use a special character and an uppercase and a number. So first thing that we get when we pull up the the uh, settings page is our web browser settings, which allows us to change how we want this browser to behave on startup. I can have it go to the settings page. I can continue where I left off the last time, or I can have it go to the home page. I think most times people are going to have it set just to use the home page, and we can have a fallback too. So if that home page doesn't load up, it'll go to the fallback. We can turn off the toolbar altogether. And another thing to note is that this browser by default will behave as if it's a desktop browser. So if you wanted it to behave as if it was a mobile browser, you would just turn this on and pop in mobile here and you could, you could uh, have the browser behave as if it was a mobile device. And you have your normal settings that you could expect, you know, language, uh, date and time. We also have network, so we can go in here and uh, set our network interface uh, IP addresses. If you wanted the static IP address, you do that from here. And if we wanted to change our password at any given time, we can go up here to the uh, authentication page and hit edit in the top right hand corner and type in our old password and a new one. We can set that up. Another interesting thing is that built into the browser there's actually client authentication so it, it comes with a certificate out of the box and you can you can actually build your or make your own certificate or import your own certificate as well and that could be pretty ha helpful if you're using the client authentication that's built into the Niagara, Niagara framework and we have a video on that on BP Tech Center that shows you exactly how to do that. It's nice because it doesn't require a user to remember a username and password if they're going to be accessing from this device. It uses the certificate that's built in here to do that authentication instead of a username and password. So that's about it for this uh, Honeywell Web HMI display. Like I said, this is the 10 inch. Um, We'll have many more videos just like this one on BP Tech Center and our YouTube page, Brady Precision. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.